I have come here tonight to report to you that this is a time of testing for our nation. There is no higher honor in the United States military than the Congressional Medal of Honor. Awarded by the President of the United States, the medal is given for acts of valor that go above and beyond the call of duty. On January 19, 1967, President Lyndon Baines Johnson awarded the Medal of Honor to an heroic Air Force pilot from Utah. We have come here to the East Room this morning to honor Major Bernard F. Fisher of the United States Air Force. He is the first air officer to win the Medal of Honor in Vietnam. Bernard Francis Fisher was born in California in 1927. His father, a struggling Utah farmer, had moved the family to San Bernardino, California during the Depression, but returned to Utah, where young Bernie grew up. Fisher attended the University of Utah and was a member of the ROTC before joining the Air Force in 1951. After completing pilot training, Fisher served as a fighter pilot in the Air Defense Command until 1965, when he volunteered for duty in Vietnam. Flying the A-1E Sky Raider, Major Fisher flew hundreds of combat sorties as a member of the 1st Air Commando Squadron in South Vietnam. But on March 10, 1966, Fisher would display the heroism that would earn him the Medal of Honor. Leading a small squadron of six Sky Raiders that had been sent to support Special Forces Commandos at an isolated camp in the A Shao Valley in South Vietnam, one of Fisher's fellow pilots was hit and forced to crash land on a remote airstrip. Fisher witnessed his comrade, Major D.W. Jump Myers, make a fiery belly landing on the short field, leap from the wreckage, and run for cover behind an embankment. Fisher radioed for a rescue chopper, but then decided that there was no time to waste. Over 2,000 enemy soldiers were engaged in the battle, and as Fisher later told an interviewer, they weren't taking any prisoners. Since the closest helicopters were over 30 minutes away, Major Fisher told radio controllers that he would rescue Myers himself. Taking significant small arms fire from the enemy, Major Fisher landed his two-seat Sky Raider on the steel plank runway, taxied to Myers' position, quickly loaded the downed pilot into the back seat of his Sky Raider and took off again safely, despite taking 19 enemy bullets to his aircraft. Although Fisher barely knew Myers at the time, they became lifelong friends. Myers telephoned every year on the anniversary of his rescue to thank Fisher. After Myers died in 1992, his daughter continued the anniversary tradition for another 22 years until Fisher's death. When asked why he risked it all to rescue a fellow pilot, Fisher replied, when a man is down, you don't leave him there. Fisher's daring rescue in Vietnam was remarkably similar to an earlier event that had occurred in World War II. In that incident, Captain Dick Wilsey's P-38 was damaged by anti-aircraft fire over Eastern Europe. After both engines failed, Wilsey was forced to make a crash landing but was rescued from certain capture when Flight Officer Dick Andrews landed his P-38 on the field, squeezed Wilsey into the cockpit, and flew back to base. In an almost unbelievable coincidence, both Wilsey and Andrews were later involved in Fisher's incident in the Battle of Aishau. Wilsey was the commanding officer of the 602nd Air Commando Squadron to which Myers was assigned, and Andrews flew top cover during the entire rescue. Major Fisher has won this honor, the nation's highest honor, because of uncommon gallantry in the face of death. After receiving the Medal of Honor, Fisher came home to Idaho and flew jet interceptors for the Air Defense Command until his retirement from the service. In 2008, Fisher received his diploma from the University of Utah, 57 years after last attending classes. During the ceremony, he was officially recognized for his past academic achievements and his distinguished military career. Colonel Fisher passed away in August of 2014, 
leaving behind a legacy of personal bravery and service to his country and fellow airmen.